we'll talk about two very interesting medicines, zinc pick and zinc phos. Now, before we talk about zinc pick or zinc phos, we have to know zincum as a group, right? Now, when we talk about the zincum group, you have to understand or my understanding of zincum group is in two aspects. If you think of the physical component, there is always physical hyperactivity. Physically, they are always hyperactive. I will come to in what ways later on. Whereas emotionally, I will put them as emotionally or intellectually to be more precise. Hypoactive. So physically, they are hyperactive. Emotionally or psychologically or intellectually, they are underactive or hypoactive. In what way and in what pattern? If you think of the physical hyperactivity, zincum is your topmost medicine for restless legs. Right? So sitting, constant movement of the legs. So restless legs, zincum, restless hands, calibromatum, yes. So restless hands, calibromatum, restless feet is zincum. Also, you have there is in graphitis as well to a certain extent. I am sorry, the restless feet you have in graphitis as well. Restless feet, graphitis and zincum. But zincum is obviously the topmost medicine. And even this restlessness of zincum, I have seen people even when they are asleep, look here please, jerking of legs. Involuntary jerking of legs when they are asleep. That you also have in zincum. So the restlessness in the legs, the physical hyperactivity is manifested not only when they are awake, but even when they are asleep. Have a qu quick look in Allen's. There is a line, excessive mo nervous movement of feet in bed for hours even after retiring. Excessive nervous movement of feet in bed for hours even after retiring. You get that line? Retiring means not, not the uh, after 60 retirement, but here is after going to bed. So retiring and going to bed. And they get the nervous fidgety feet. The so restless legs. So children, if you think of young children, they have gone to bed at night and there is jerking of the legs. There is involuntary movement of the legs. Nervous movement of feet. So the feet are always restless. Even when they are asleep, there is the restlessness in the legs. You are with me? You got that line? Nervous movement of the feet in bed for hours even after retiring. Where do you get with zinc? Right? Same line, right? Could you read that? Even when asleep. So even that's what I was saying. This is one of the topmost indications for zincum. Even when they're asleep, there's movement in the legs, restless legs. Graphitis can have restless legs as well. And if you remember Macab, Macab has got very painful feeling in the legs. That's why they can't go to sleep. Aching in the legs preventing sleep in Macab. There's always a discomfort in the legs which prevents sleep in Macab. Magnesia cup. When case of zinc coming, when they have gone to sleep, they you find the restlessness. You find the jerking in the legs. Very good indication for which you can prescribe to young children for zinc cup. So what you got? You got the restless legs, right? You're clear with this? Please put a note for good clinical tip: jerking in the legs in young children, even when they're asleep, zinc cup is one of the topmost medicines young children with jerking of legs. Number two, how will you understand physical hyperactivity? Excessive appetite. When they are hungry, what time? 11 a.m. like sulfur. You see there is a line again in Allen's great greediness while eating. At 11 a.m. in bracket in incipient brain diseases of children. So with brain diseases, with neurological complaints, when you have excessive appetite, go for zincum. Otherwise, sulfur. You got that? 
Can you read that line, please? Incipient brain disease. Incipient means is underlying brain diseases. So any neurological disease, if you think of ADHD with excessive appetite. So you see that is another feature of the physical hyperactivity. So the peristalsis is excessive. The metabolism is excessive. They are eating quite a lot. Great greediness while eating. Like sulfur's time. Even the physical hyperactivity, you can observe it in the muscles. How? You have twitching of single muscles in case of zinc up. Twitching of single muscles. You have that in stromonium, you have that in ignatia, you have that in zinc up as well. Twitching of single muscles. So you see like chorea, ticks, particular muscle is twitching. Here, 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 anywhere there is twitching of single muscles. Stromonium, ignatia, zinc up. Agaricus, where you have this. So, if you see, if you think of a combination where a patient is hyperactive, along with that, there is ticks and chorea, Tourette syndrome, we will call that. Stramonium, Ignatia, Agaricus, Zinc, four. Tourette syndrome, you know, you heard about that? Tourette? Tourette. Well, twitching. Along with that, you can get that hyperactivity as well. Causticum is more from excitement. You can get twitching in causticum, but from excitement. Like, you know, eyelid is twitching from any excitement. That is causticum. But this is like involuntary. Causticum, uh, sorry, zincum, ignatia, stramonium, agaricus. Agaricus is like all over, right? But single muscles, I will say these three. Calibrom. No, awake. Okay. So that's a physical hyperactivity, right? So you got that in the extremity, so musculoskeletal hyperactivity. You got that in the gastric sphere, so gastric hyperactivity. You got that in the muscular sphere again, where there you are having twitching of the muscles. There is also hyperactivity. Yes. So that's on one hand. Emotionally, why I said intellectually hypoactive? Because one of the key words to describe the Zincum group is brain fag. You know, Bert in his book Physiological Metromedica mentions what iron is to the blood, zinc is to the nerves. You know, zinc is very essential for brain development. People have zinc supplement for brain development. So what iron is to the blood, zinc is to the nerves. So, brain fag is a very important understanding of zincum. And how will you understand that they are having brain fag? Because if you remember, I shared this with you earlier, echo speech. They don't understand, they don't comprehend it. What's your name? What's your name? It's not because they are being rude or not because they are being sarcastic. It's because they don't register it in their brains. What's your name? So, they in trying to understand the question, they repeat that question again. You are with me? How is the weather today? How is the weather today? Then they may answer it later on. But initially, the response to a question is asking that same question again because it does not register, it does not comprehend in their brains. So, echo speech, topmost medicine is Zincum Metallicum or Zincum group in general. Right? And obviously, along with this, you can have poor memory and concentration. Poor memory and concentration. You are with me? So, physical hyperactivity, emotional underactivity. 
Now with this in the background, one of the very interesting things for Zincom Group in general, you will see that, <coughs> think of a 17 year old, 16 year old girl who is having lot of restless legs, who is having brain fag, who is having difficulty understanding, her menstruation has not started. Right? Have a look in Alan's please first paragraph. Could you read that loud, please? Person suffering from cerebral and nervous exhaustion, defective vitality. Defective vitality. Brain and nerve power wanting. Too weak to develop eczema, da, or menstrual function. To expectorate, to urinate, to comprehend, to memorize. So you see, the vital energy is so low that even the normal physiological function doesn't develop as it should. To develop exanthemata, that means a skin eruption. To develop menstrual functions, a 17 year old girl with these things, she is not having not started her menstruation as yet. So even the normal physiological functions are not developing. There is a line again in Allen's if you go down, where the vis medicatrix is too weak, something like that. Second page, I think, in the top. This medicatrix is the power of nature. Then nature's own power to develop the functions is very weak. In this cerebral affection in impending paralysis of brain, where the vis medicatrix nature is too weak to develop eczema, the symptom of evolution into brain. Yes, you see the that means the vitality is too weak even to develop the normal functions. So that so even it's not only acts on the neurological plane, but even you see I've treated cases where a young girl, a 16, 17 year old girl, has doesn't hasn't started menstruation. So the normal physiological functions are defective. What is the which the, the power of nature. Power of mother nature. So that you'll expect with zincum as well, right? The, there is defective vitality. So you can put it here, defective vitality to develop normal functions, right? Normal physiological functions. Especially, I won't. I haven't got cases of expectoration or urination, nothing like that. But especially, as I shared with you, the clinical findings, as I've got cases where a young girl who hasn't started menstruation, with the restless feet of zincum, with the absent-mindedness of zincum, with the excessive appetite of zincum, and their zincum can help. And if she is tall, if she is attractive, if she is fair. If she is bubbly, if she is extrovert, what will you give? Sink force. Zinc force. So all these features with a phosphorus constitution, you are done, it is a zinc force. That is why you see I have put here in zinc force, fag of zinc come in phosphorus constitution. You will expect phosphorus to be intelligent, you will expect phosphorus to be very sharp. But in zinc force, you have the physical attributes of phosphorus. She has lovely eyelashes, she has blue eyes, she is fair. She is beautiful, but unfortunately, she does not have the brains what you expect with phosphorus. Right? So, give her zinc force, she will turn into a phosphorus again. Right? So, that is one of the important aspects of this zincum group. And again, zincum group in general does not have anything to do with hypersexuality. But now if you put this in perspective, this kind of restlessness, this kind of emotional hypoactivity with the phosphorus constitution with hypersexuality, then again zinc force comes in. If you see I have mentioned here, second point, emissions with voluptuous dreams and intense nervous thrills. Why? Because phosphorus has the hypersexuality. You remember, I shared this with you, phosphorus has the lasciviousness, has the hypersexuality. So whenever you have the zinc come background with hypersexuality, with few phosphorus features, go for zinc force. Believe me, I prescribe zincum metallicum much less, zinc force much more. 
such a useful medicine. In Borike, you will get maybe 2-3 lines about zinc phos, but it is such a useful medicine because with these zinc mentals and the phosphorus constitution, but unfortunately that intellect of phosphorus, the intelligence of phosphorus is what is unfortunately missing. Mm, yes, true. They look quite intelligent. You mean look like more phosphorus types? Yeah, yeah. Like more. True, yes. That is why this is such, you know, this comes in so much handy, zinc phos. I have seen that as well. I agree. They look fair and delicate, lovely. Right. So, that is about your zinc phos with the brain fag of zincum in a phosphorus constitution where you have the beauty culture, where you have the vibrant, dynamic, attractive, creative nature of phosphorus and you have the hypersexuality of phosphorus. Right. And also you have to understand phosphorus is also a very restless medicine. Have a quick look in Allen's, there is a line in phosphorus, restless, fidgety feeling all over. So, phosphorus restlessness is all over, fidgety all over. Like zincum is specially limited to the legs, but phosphorus can be restless and fidgety all over. Alan mentions that. Did you get that? Yes. Restless, fidgety all over. So even a hyperactive child can be helped with the phosphorus component as well because they have the restlessness. You with me? So, the beauty of phosphorus, the intellect of zincum, the hypersexuality of phosphorus and the restlessness of both that you have with zinc phos. I want you to please try zinc phos. 200 C, 1 M, even up to 10 M works really well with zinc phos and I won't, and I am sure you won't be disappointed. That is about your zinc phos. 200 C, 1 M, 10 M, at least go up to 10 M. Zinc works best with the highest potencies, you know, it is such a deep acting substance, it works best with high potency. If you are prescribing 30 C, you may as well prescribe him water. 30 C won't, does not work in my experience. Zinc force because you may have the appetite of zincum, you have the restless legs of zincum, you have the brain fag of zincum, the poor memory and concentration, right? Then you can go for phosphorus. If they are intelligent, you can go for phosphorus. But these features of zincum, if they are there with the phosphorus appearance, go for zinc force. You know, the poor memory, the concentration, eco speech, if it is there, is obviously zincum. No other medicine has it. Like that bright appearance, but the eco speech is there, go for zinc force. Right? Or restless, just legs are restless with the phosphorus constitution. Go for zinc force. But the phosphorus also have less restless legs. No, phosphorus restlessness is all over. Oh. Hands, legs, all over, fidgety feeling all over. Oh, but I see uh, all over, but also in the leg is zinc. Yes. Just legs if it's so, I am telling you, he's a, she is a very nice, bright girl, attractive, very creative, but she, the mom is telling you her legs are never static, her legs are always moving. So, you are getting the appearance, all the attributes of phosphorus, but you are getting the restlessness just of the feet of zinc up. You understand what I mean? That is how, like, you know, if I, even if I get two out of these features, with the phosphorus constitution, I will go for zinc phos. Say I get the restless legs or say I get the eco speech or the excessive eating at 11 o'clock, I will go for zinc phos. 
right? That's why it's such an excellent medicine. And also you have to understand another thing, phosphorus or any tubercular group of medicine can have precocious puberty. What is precocious puberty? 10, 10, 10, age 10 menstruation started, age 8 breast development started, so they develop early puberty. But here when you are talking about zincum, delayed, right? Too weak to develop the menstrual function, so age 17, 18 menstruation has not started. So you understand what I mean? Yeah. It is like almost the opposite. What are the two remedies for the pre? Precautious, calcadia can have it. Phosphorus, tuberculinum can also have it. Calcareous milestones are delayed, but puberty is early. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yes. Calcareous walking, dentition can be delayed, but puberty is early, precocious puberty. Whereas also in tuberculinum, also in phosphorus. Tubercular group of medicines can have early puberty. Whereas in case of zincum, I won't say everything is delayed, but menstruation, in my understanding, too weak to start, that is important for zincum. You missed out on anything? No, it is okay. P R E C O C I U S, precautious, that means early, because of the zinc component because of the zinc component. Like when I say you are thinking of phosphorus, but you will think oh phosphorus should her puberty be delayed, she is a 17 year old girl, she has not started menstruation, she is a phosphorus. So, you will be thinking what is pulling it back, well, she is a phosphorus, but phosphorus should have early menstruation, should have a normal menstruation, should have, but you are finding it delayed. So, that is holding you back and then you can think of zinc phos as well. Obviously, then you need some other features, you need either the restlessness or the memories. very very good medicine for this age group. All right. Another medicine which I use as well not to that extent like zinc force is zinc peak. Zinc peak is all these symptoms along with a headache from mental exertion you can add this there. If you have the headache from any mental exertion which you have with picric acid, then zinc pic comes in. You understand what I mean? So, you have an exam, you have to study, you have to submit for a deadline and there is a lot of mental exertion and you get a headache from that. That is a picric component, especially headache where this occipital and they are better by this, this is for picric acid, better by pressure occipital headache, you have that in picric acid and you know this goes on and on, on and on, on and on and now your memory, your concentration is poor now and then zinc pic comes in. So, picric acid followed by zinc pic is a good chain. I will repeat this again, think of a 15 year old boy, every exam comes and before the exam he is so much stress, so much mental exertion, he gets an occipital headache. So, age 15, age six, no medication, age 16, age 17, age 18, age 19. So, age 15 to 19, he was still on pic, he was still like an picric acid. So, if you would have got picric acid, he would have got better, but he did not get picric acid. You understand what I mean? Every exam, every two months, he is having a project, mental exertion, stress, occipital headache, better by pressure. So, he needed picric acid, did not get that. Now, age 19, age 20, when he reaches there, he starts to develop this brain fag, poor memory, poor concentration, still the headache is there and that is a zinc peak. So, up to age 15 to 19, it was just headaches with that aggravation from mental exertion, he was better from pressing this part. But when age 19 crossed or to age 20 as time has progressed, obviously the disease pathogenesis deepens. And now, every time he is trying to strain his head, trying to strain his brain, not only is he getting the headache, 
but also he is losing his on on his focus he is losing on his concentration you are with me So the picric, if you think of the picric acid stage is occipital headache, better by pressure or tight bandaging. This is develops from what? This develops from mental exertion. Or overwork. You with me? Now, when this state has continued over a period of time, this mental exertion and overwork still is there. So, what happens? You get the headache, and this in combination with poor memory and poor concentration. You with me? Pressure. Tight bandaging. So whenever now, so age 20, 21, whenever there is mental overexertion, overwork, not only he gets the headache, but also he gets the brain fag. So acid, a picric acid transforms into a zinc pick. You see, that's why I mentioned a nervous exhaustion from overworked brain, loss of memory, loss of energy. That is your zinc pick. Zinc pick is not a medicine for ADHD, right? It's more like from overwork, from overstress, you develop brain fag. Very common in the in our part of the world. Where you have to participate in the rat race. You with me? Zinc force is a medicine for ADHD or autism as you can call it, but zinc peak is more from like brain fag developing from overexertion. Where you have the headache of picric acid, initially in the younger teenage years you are just getting the headache, as time progressed as you are in your 20s, now every time you strain you develop the headache in combination with loss of focus, loss of concentration. That is your zinc peak, 200 C, 1 M for zinc peak as well. Okay. So, we did a very important group of ADHD, autism, polycrest and lesson notes. Zinc is one of the top most, top most group, please. As we have done zincum in general when we talked about the zincum group and it is obviously in this indispensable medicine for ADHD, zinc for specially. Because as you understand that autistic children are intel look intelligent, look bright. So, in that way, zinc force becomes indispensable. Take a break. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.